Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 15 of gate DA24 exam. Okay. This question is based on minima and maxima topic from calculus course. Okay. Minima and maxima. Now what is this minima and maxima? Suppose a function is given to us f of x. Okay. And if we want to find out minimum or maximum value of that, or at which point the function occurs a minima and maxima then what we do we first find out the critical points okay so how to find out critical points suppose f of x is given to us so we take a derivative of f of x that will be f dash of x and then we equate to, to zero once we equate this particular f dash of x to zero then we solve this equation and the root of this particular equation the roots of equation will be my critical points will be my critical points okay critical points suppose alpha and beta are the two critical points i got from f dash of x now what we have to do in the next step in the next step we have to take a second derivative of this particular function so 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 differentiate f dash of x again f double dash of x right now what we have to do we got the critical points from this particular equation suppose let's say at x equals to alpha at x equals to alpha if i say f double dash of alpha is greater than zero it means that is positive i can say that f of x will give will give minima here okay minima and the minimum value will be what simply put alpha instead of x in the f of x that will be a minimum value okay and at x equals to alpha we are getting a minima here now if double dash of x if f double dash of alpha is less than zero in that case what we can say if it is negative then f of x will give maxima okay will give maxima so please remember this important point we already discussed this thing in detail in our uh, calculus course so you can uh, go through that okay now let's come back to this particular question here so for any twice differentiable function so here we have a function having a domain and the range r to r right if at some x star belong to r so from this particular uh, domain i can say f double dash f dash of x star is equals to zero it means that x star is my critical point here because we are differentiating the function and we are and we are getting f star equals to zero it means that x star is my critical point okay is my critical point or i can say root of this particular equation and same thing f double dash of x star is what positive is greater than zero so what we have said if f double dash of that particular root is greater than zero that is positive it means that f of x will give me minima so here we can say the function f necessarily has a minima at x equals to x star and that will be my local minimum okay so option a is correct here so when i talk about the global minimum or absolute minimum in that case what happens suppose my function is like this okay suppose my function is like this so this one okay if you observe this is minimum this is minimum even this is minimum okay so this will be local minimum local minimum local minimum and if i say this to this is my range okay interval here this is a and this is b so my function is defined for a to b only okay a to b only this is defined for a to b only now in that case what we have to do first we need to find out the all the minimum and and this will be a local minimum what will be a global minimum the minimum of all the local minimum will be what my global minimum also we have to see f of a and f of b okay if out of this three and this two out of this five whatever the minimum value will be there of a function that will be my global minimum okay so we have to consider the end point as well okay because it is defined for this to this okay so i hope you understand about the uh, global minimum part but the correct option is here option number eight that is local minimum okay because here we don't have a fixed interval and we cannot say anything about the global minimum here okay so that's why the correct option is option number eight that is local minimum i hope you understand this particular question 
and the video solution of this. So please remember this important point. I already discussed this concept in my calculus course. Okay. So that's it from this particular video. Thank you.